Hi guys, it's Ankush. So I am sharing beta for the public. You can access the software from itch.io website. The download link is given in the description. I have also attached two links of Game Guru threads where you can connect with me for suggestions and feedback. To begin this, this is an online application for now. That is, if you are not connected to the internet, you cannot access the applications. Once you open the application, you will be prompted with a splash screen followed by an option menu where you can select the game engine of your choice. Here I have made access to Game Guru framework only. Modules for all other mentioned engines will be available in the final product. So once you click on the Game Guru button, the application will switch itself to the visual scripting frame. Here. Before we begin arranging blocks, I'll give a short introduction about the menus and quick rundown for the scripting part. Starting from the white grid space, this is your workspace where all the blocks will be placed. In the beginning itself, you will have three function blocks already placed in your workspace. The first block represents your initialization function. Here you can add your initialization variable followed by main where the function will be called in main game loop. In this function, all your game logic rests here and the last belongs to exit function that is when the script stops being computed in the main game loop. Mostly you won't need it so I'll skip that part. To know which function is which, you can click on the question mark icon of the block. Now since a function has input variable that is values which are passed to it in the beginning and the output variables which are returned in the end of its execution to the main function of the program. Thus, in order to pass more input variables, you simply need to click on the gear icon and click on the input button and drag it to the right hand side to change its properties. Now in this function, we can pass two variables. You can repeat the process to pass more input variables. Now since we are dealing with the game guru scripting, thus all these three functions need not any values to be written. But if in case you develop a script which you want to add into the main script, then you can add further functions which return value using the other blocks mentioned in your function tab. Moving on, now pay attention to your left hand side. Here several tabs are arranged which stores the blocks useful for building game logic. Once you click them, new window will pop up. Just drag and drop it through the workspace. Here the usual text in each tab represent the blocks which it stores. For example, the if else loop and conditional testing loops will be stored in the logic tab. Same goes for the loops tab. In order to create if else block, simply click on the gear icon and arrange the blocks to your own desire. To create a variable, click on the create variable button. Once you drop it to the workspace, use the drop menu to change the variable you want to access. Rest of the blocks are self-explanatory. The next tab addressed as global variables stores the variables which you need to get the properties of the entity that is position, rotation, etc. For simplicity, that variables are also contextually divided into several subcategories so that you can easily access it. I have also made the facility to add custom codes into the block. For example, if you are good at programming and you don't find any specific block, then you can simply use custom block tab to write your code directly into it. Use comment block to add description of the following blocks or if you want multiple line or even want to comment out several blocks without deleting them, then you just need to place all of the blocks in that block. The following tabs contextually hold the blocks which you need for programming the game logic. For that you simply need to drag and drop. If you see a wedge uh, then at the place you can add the input in form of a variable. 
if the expected input is a number or a string then use the blocks from math toolbox and text var types respectively if you put a string block uh, where a number block is expected it will not connect here i'll show you how to build a simple game logic You can check out the Lua code by clicking on inspect Lua code button. You can directly copy the code to your clipboard or can edit it but the edit will not be saved. To export Lua script just click export Lua and give it name and position. So uh, to save your workspace for later use or for sharing it for other users simply click save blocks. It will save all blocks in your workspace and can be loaded at later time to start from where you had left off. To load the block simply click on browse locate the file and click on the load button. If you want to share your blocks with others then click on the upload to archive. Login with your credentials fill up the form and upload your .xml file. Now if you want to access the blocks downloaded by other users you can simply click on visit archive. Give it a time to load and click on the download button to store it in your file system. Later on you can load it into your own workspace using load blocks button since the whole software consists of over 56000 lines of code thus there is a fair chance that it may have some bugs or syntax error which i might have missed if you encounter bugs or syntax error use the submit bug button to fill up the form don't send the bugs and error report in the game guru community forum or on steam discussion page only use the form given in the application to submit bug report I have logged the pro mode which consists of all the functions described in current global.lua. The reason of blocking is that I don't want to overwhelm you with lots of blocks because the reason of developing this framework is to ease out the pain in coding but instead if I overcrowd with the blocks it will kill its purpose. Once you guys submit your feedback and bugs for the current batch of blocks I will unlock the rest of the blocks in second week from now. so that it will be easy for you and me to move on to the next phase of bug catching and fixing this respectively if you need help you can click on the open manual button to check the functionality of each block however i made arrangements in the blocks itself to describe what it does and if the description is not given then the block name and its function is self explanatory lastly if you want the project to see the daylight support the project on its indiegogo campaign i am doing this just to arrange funds for my studies thus if this campaign fails then i have to forcibly move on to other projects from which i can continue to support myself I don't see much interest from the community and it tear make me lose my interest. For the whole campaign I have remained transparent even I have outdone myself and given the product in your hands before the campaign ends. I like others I have already almost completed the project. So in return I expect you to be honest with me and let me know whether you want this product or not so that I can save my time and move on to better things. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you. Have a nice day.